talking to the boys. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin and welcome back to Fable Hill Farms. Stop that, Ivy. I thought real quick, um, I, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but I just uh, wanted to check in. I had something to show you guys. I'm working towards trying to be more regular with YouTube. I just have had some, you know, important life things going on with raising our daughter, with having the garden, with needing to figure out, you know, kind of a balance of work from home life and also just being a mom. Uh, so that's something I'm working on and I just wanted to give you an update. Here I am. Uh, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. I know it's been a long time, like I said. I apologize, but I'm sure you understand life. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Kaylin. I'm 30 and my husband and I and our one-year-old daughter live on our little 10 acre farm here in West Michigan. And we raise, uh, be our first year, a show quality Nigerian dwarf goats that are registered with the American Dairy Goat Association. We will be showing, well, I will, my husband has zero interest, but he's very supportive. Uh, I will be showing and doing linear appraisal and also milk testing. So my husband and father-in-law and brother-in-law were just here today working on putting up a new uh, pen area and building some gates for what is going to be our dough barn for the winter. We're in zone, we're in zone 5B and we're getting very close to it being uh, winter and the snow hitting. We just started our wood stove recently, so it's definitely uh, getting to be time to start thinking about getting them in the pen if you notice how red my one eye is i have been dealing with pink eye conjunctivitis i believe bacterial so i've been treating that with breast milk and colloidal silver gel and taking some turmeric well arnica and doing some flushes in my eye and I wore glasses that had the one side blacked off for a little over a day and just been washing my hands a ton and just being really mindful of not touching my eye. The glasses were great for that. Uh, just letting it heal and not trying to share my germs with anyone. So, so the does are now in uh, the part of the garden that the winter squash, the pumpkins, that kind of stuff was growing. You can see the rest of the crazy end of season, mostly dead, overgrown garden. I row sunflowers there. And if we walk along this fence line, which is this Premier One electric net sheep and goat fencing, which we love, though there is certainly a learning curve with it. And so this is going to be the main dough yard and this will all turn into permanent fencing the bucks are over yonder hi girls and then that's the milking room through there this is just kind of a lane system for now this goes around to the entrance of what will be the dough barn through this door here water quick peek in the milking room which feeds oh Finkel's gonna go in there yeah uh, no girls no they know the food is in here whoops fun girls <sighs> we've all been in here and there's hay and food come on son i had to tempt the girls with some sunflower seeds quickly to get them out of there because they were about to go just absolutely bonkers with all the feed that was in there which is why your goats should never be able to get to your feed they found the barn cat's food too oh no but i didn't shut this door no i didn't know uh, ah! the one who found the cat food too no kitty food. You're a goat. Come out of here, ID. Not much more stubborn than a goat that doesn't want to come. Well, that was chaotic. Now this is their old pen. 
which I took their little playground thing out. Here is, this has been used as their kind of stall slash barn, which was for cows, obviously. I'll link another video, you can check that out. Um, that's cleaning out this cow pen for them. The hay feeder that my husband built. It does need some modifications. Hey, son. And then this goes out to... This is... Well, back out here, which is all blocked off. They were out here before. Um, this is one of our pastures. And then the bucks are attached to another pasture. And this is a big gate, which is not convenient for goats. To have big gates, you need little gates. But again, this pen was made for cows. This is our... Roughly four acre hay field out here. So it's fall. We weren't going to do another cutting. Uh, so we let them out on the hay field to get some of that alfalfa. My chair for visiting the goats, which the goats have broken a bolt out of because it's also their chair. And Finkel, our herd queen, will lead the way here. And now we reconnect with the goat barn that we were just at. So that's what we have set up so far. There's a lot of modifications that will be made and things made more permanent and beautified as time and most importantly, money allow. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, life, you know, being a stay-at-home mom and running our small farm and uh, raising our daughter and the garden. <laughs> Whoo, the garden, really takes time and I was a bit overwhelmed having done such a large space this year and so many new things but I'm glad I did I learned a lot I made a lot of mistakes I also had a lot of success and put up a lot of food so I'm super grateful and happy with how it all turned out and proud of what we did oh before I go I was thinking and I wanted to mention it I want to do a video on all the holistic things I use to care for my goats so if you're interested in that, if you think that would be a video you'd like to watch, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin and welcome back.